Tuned out here. I thought we had uh, two really good practices today. Really good energy. Uh, guys were flying around. Uh, we had scheduled a practice for Gary not to go. That's the only reason he was in. He'll be back at it tomorrow morning in the walkthrough and then, and then tomorrow morning in practice. He feels great, but it was just, I think, a, a good opportunity also for us to see the quarterbacks that are behind him in the depth chart and give us some more information and a little bit more body of work so that we can make those decisions as we get closer to the, uh, the scrimmage on Saturday night. Uh, questions? Kyle, the, the three guys you talked about getting more reps off the scrimmage. What did you see in the scrimmage and what have you seen that, that they deserve more attention? You know, I think Sebastian Joseph just continues to show up and he really has handled, handled the mental aspect of the game very well, which is not easy for a, for a freshman defensive player in our system. Uh, you know, I think Justin Goodwin is a very natural runner and somebody that in the small amount of carries he's had has shown us that we need to at least see him carry the ball you know, a little bit more. Uh, and there was one other. Uh, 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 yeah, Dewani. Oh, Dewani. Yeah, Dewani's been with us for a little bit now. And, and you know, the move to the defensive end position really seems to have been a good one for him. And, and that's exciting for us. I think I anticipate Mill coming back Monday of next week. I, I don't anticipate seeing him before the end of this week. And, uh, you know, his brother's going to get married over the weekend. And, and that's where he'll be on Saturday. So I anticipate Mill being back full speed on Monday. And really what that did was give Dewani a, an opportunity and he's really taken advantage of it and I think that's the important thing for any young player or even an older player who's not a first teamer you have to be ready for your opportunities you don't know when they're going to come and you don't know if you're going to get to so he, uh, DJ's done a good job for us. Uh, Kyle Agadosi we saw him on crutches at media day can you give us an update on what happened to him? And Carlton's got a, got a hamstring injury and you know right now he's out certainly through this week and we'll reevaluate him over the weekend. That was cross. Closer to coming back? Or doing he something? is. And Tyler was out here this morning uh, doing some drills and doing some skill work. I don't think he'll be back early enough this week to scrimmage, but uh, but he's a, he's a lot closer than he was a couple days ago, so uh, he will be ready for the first game for sure. With Duane, getting back to him, what did you see out of him that really caused you, you know, to, to, to give a jump in, in his progress? I think what Duane did in, in the summer was really take advantage of the summer program. And our players are here for nine weeks in the summer. and. He, is, he changed his body. He's a leaner. He's a stronger. He's running better. So I, I, we're excited by all those things. Now he's got to prove that he can do it day in and day out. And for any player who hasn't had the, the chance or the opportunity to do it in games, the only opportunity they have to prove to us that, that they're worthy of, of playing in the games is to be consistent every day as they come out here. So it's day to day. You know, as of this morning, we were pleased. And now we'll evaluate this statement and see how we feel. Kyle, was uh, Carazola kind of limited by design later today also? Correct. Yeah, yeah, Paul would be in the same category as Gary, kind of a, a designated scheduled practice out, and he'll be back in full steam ahead tomorrow. What did he show you in the scrimmage Saturday, Paul? Consistency. You know, Paul's been a very consistent player since he's been here and somebody that, as a senior this year, we're going to rely on. All the best teams I've ever been around, their seniors play their best football. When your seniors play your best football, you have a chance. You're going to have your second scrimmage Saturday night, right? Correct. Last year, didn't you have sort of a, quote, mini scrimmage? And are you going to have one, another one of those? We did. We had, we had a half scrimmage last year because of, of how the days fell and the okay. weekends. And you know, we try to do something on, the, on two of the Sundays in training camp as a team on days we don't practice. And that was kind of why it worked out, because we opened on a Saturday. Okay. This year, opening on a Thursday night, it didn't really fall that way in the schedule. So you know, we'll do enough live work in the practices, but we won't have that kind of half scrimmage like we did last year. What were your just quick reactions to seeing Chase and Mike get more opportunities in the second practice today? I think I want to look at it on film. I didn't, I didn't focus on that position specifically. You know, Coach Spence is out there, Coach Brents, they're out there doing that and coaching him and evaluating every play. But I want to go back in and watch the tape with the offense and, and form my opinion that way without maybe a throw that I saw or didn't see out here. And did Larry have to go home? You mentioned he was... Yeah, they, they, have a, they have a death in the family. And okay. Antoine went back tonight, and, and he will be back not tomorrow night, but uh, midday the next day. So hopefully uh, you know, he'll travel safe and, and our prayers are with him and his family. And when he gets back, I think his ankle will be in a place where he'll be able to practice with us. How about fullback? How is that backup uh, battle coming along? I think Sam Bergen right now is, is in that position and the other players are trying to overtake him. I don't, I don't know that there's, a, there's any gray area just yet, but you know, Kevin Marquez, Devin Carter, they're going to get opportunities this week to see if they can create some. But I think Sam is playing a little bit better. I, I try not to make too many generalizations off one play, but I saw him, I saw two plays today. I saw him on one play block a power play that I thought was pretty good, and then I saw him catch a ball out of the flat and turn up where he looked pretty good. So I, I think Sam's getting better. Have you seen any separation all in the place kicking battle? 
I don't know that it, that it's uh, it's that significant, but I, I will say this morning, you know, Kyle kicked a 47-yarder in, in an overtime situation to tie the game. That is a, a, a pr as pressure-filled kick, I think, as you can get in practice, you know, without being in the stadium. So Kyle's done that in the past for us as well. And um, I, I'm not disappointed in Nick right now, but I, I think Kyle's probably our one and Nick's our two, and there's probably not much separation, though, and, and that could certainly change over the next couple days. Got time for two more. With uh, Nick Marshall for what do you seen from him? Is it what you expected out of him? Has he, has he really been impressive to you? What we, what I see out of him in practice is, is a guy with a really strong leg, and he's been very consistent. You know, from specialist all the way through the punt periods, and and I'm excited to see him in the games. You know, I haven't, I've only been around him for a couple of weeks, so I like everything about him right now. And and for us, the the last piece of that puzzle is going to see, you know, when we get out to Fresno, and then he's got to perform it under the lights, so to speak, you know, to make sure that he's ready to do it. So he certainly hasn't shown me any reason why he wouldn't be. Uh, so we're pleased so far. Probably won't. We'll hold Brandon Coleman out of the scrimmage. Even if he's yeah, ready. Brandon won't scrimmage this week. You know, we'll, we'll continue to try to progress him a little more. Uh, I, I cut it a little bit short this morning just because the surface was wet, but not not because of him. He's really he's he's fighting me to do more every day. So uh, I think he'll be ready to go. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks. Thank you.